Do you know how your shopping habits and impulse spending can actually be a manifestation of underlying psychological issues such as loneliness and maybe even depression? And it doesn't even have that much to do with you understanding how to keep a budget or learning more about finance and money and money and so on. But it's more about understanding and then addressing those root causes within yourself that is going to help you completely change your financial future and trajectory of your finances. Okay, so if you go to emerald.com and you search for studies for that topic that we're just chatting about right now, most of them you can find within the Central Management Journal, the Central European Management Journal. For instance, in an abstract, they talk about one of these things that they talk about is the compensatory consumption behavior theory. And that theory suggests that individuals that experience self-discrepancy, what does that mean? Self-discrepancy essentially means a gap between one's real self and one's ideal self. And that gap causes you to be unhappy. And in order to fill that void or that gap, you are turning towards material things and materialistic pursuits, such as shopping to bridge that gap. And it originates out of feeling just an emotional discomfort, which loneliness in particular can increase tremendously. And loneliness can essentially also lead to high levels of depression, can be the start of depression, which in turn increases, of course, compulsive shopping behavior. And it's keeping you in this horrible cycle of essentially debt, which, you know, most of us, and I feel like most of us are guilty of that to some extent, so debt that we take on. And then you essentially can never get out of that because you're not happy about the debt that you're taking out too. Then you're feeling worse about yourself and so on. Now let's talk about though, what can we do about that? If you are suffering or have been suffering from impulse shopping sprees and so on, and you want to get your financial behavior or habits under control. So like I said, first, first step is awareness. If you understand what's wrong, if you understand what's going on, then you are aware of it. You can hack your mind as well and you can address the issues and fix them. And everything is, I think, figure, figure outable. So you're aware, you acknowledge the problem. The next thing is you can seek support for therapy, for counseling, for support groups, for just talking about it, for journaling. That's another thing that journaling, I think, is amazing. And then three, you develop, you develop healthy coping mechanisms. And one of the main factors is that if you know that how shopping, your so- shopping behavior is directly linked to sort of like your, even your level of loneliness, based on the studies I was quoting before and research papers, then you want to seek out and strengthen your social connections. You want to maybe start new hobbies. You want to get out of the house more. And it doesn't have to be something where you have to spend again money, but it could just be something like joining a hiking group on Facebook or something. And then of course, you can also add on more automated budgeting hacks. Let me know if you want me to record another video on those. Anyways, I thought that was helpful for you. I was definitely mind blown once I learned about that, which goes to show that money is not just about money. Money is like a psychological thing, first and foremost, always.